Good morning, Algebra 2. I am going to go through solving exponential equations, and you do need a calculator for this. So let's start off with this one. Okay, we're going to solve 4 to the 3x plus 1 equals 9. Now I'm going to actually show you two different methods, and you're going to just need to be able to decide as you go through these different methods to solve them. So I'm going to start, go ahead and show you two options. Okay, what you want to do when you have got um, unlike bases, so I have a base 4 and I have a base 9. I can't rewrite these to get like bases to solve for variables and exponents. I now have to use logs or natural logs. So what you want to do is start off first, isolate the base. Well, we don't have anything to isolate, so this one's already done for us. Okay, I'm going to use the logging both sides. I'm going to show you this method first. So what I'm going to do is I need to get this variable out of the exponent. So I'm going to take the log of both sides. So I'm going to take log of 4 to the 3x plus 1. So basically I'm just putting a log in front of both sides. Just like you add 2 to both sides, subtract 2 from both sides, you're just going to log both sides. So I've just taken the log of both sides. Now, what do we know about the power rule? I can take this exponent and can I move it down as a coefficient? So now I'm going to rewrite this as 3, and let's put parentheses around this exponent plus 3x plus 1 times log of 4 equals log of 9. Okay, so now I can do one of two things. Um, you've got to remember that this log of 4, this is just a value in your calculator, some decimal. And remember how we have actually estimated these? We're saying log uh, base 10, log base 10 of 4, you know, that's going to be less than 1. So you can kind of get a sense of that value. It's going to be point, you know, point 0.3 something or I don't know, something small. So, but it is just a value. So it's kind of like a coefficient. So I can just go ahead and divide both sides by log four, because I need to solve for x. So I'm gonna divide both sides by log of four. Okay, so what am I left with? I'm left with three x plus one equals this log of nine which is just a number, right? Divided by a log of four, which is just dividing by another decimally number. And then what do we know we can do? We, well, we can go ahead and change this to the decimal if you want, or we can keep going, okay? If we keep going, I'm gonna subtract one from both sides. So I'm gonna end up with three X equals log base nine of four our base log base um, log of nine divided by log of four all minus one and then I'm going to divide everything by three so divide that whole answer by three so now let's grab our calculators and let's type all that in so let me open my graphing calculator and let's see clear out what I have let's go back to the home screen Okay, so let's type this in. So we've got log of 9, and this is all base 10, right? Divided by log of 4, and we're going to get that answer, okay? Then I'm going to subtract 1 from that, and then I'm going to take that answer, and I'm going to divide it by 3. So my answer is 1.95, or point. One, nine, five, and that's the answer. Okay, now I can take that answer and I can plug it back in to check my work. So I got point one nine five. I'm gonna plug in for x. Now I'm gonna recheck this. Okay, so let's see if we did this correctly. So we've got four to the exponent parentheses three times 0.195 
and then what, plus one, all still in parentheses, close my bracket. Now, I'm not going to get probably exactly nine, but I should get close to nine, and I did, uh, 9.00046. So that's pretty close. So I know I did that one correctly, okay? So that's how you can do it, um, logging both sides. Now let me show you how to do it with the rewrite method. I think the rewrite method is a little bit easier for these shorter problems. So let me show you. Okay, let's start with uh, the easier method or what I think is a little bit easier. So you wanna isolate um, the base, which this one's already isolated. Then we want to use this rewrite. So I'm gonna rewrite this as log base four of nine is equal to 3x plus 1. Okay, now what we can do is we can subtract 1 from both sides. So I can take log base 4 of 9 is equal to, or minus 1 equals 3x, and then divide both sides by 3. And you can see we're actually getting the same setup that we have over here, right? And over here, we actually have the same setup. It's just a little bit quicker. Now, to put this in the calculator, if you have the newer version, you can just do log base 4 of 9 minus 1. Make sure all that's in parentheses before you divide by 3. So just be careful as you type these in. But there's that's how you would do it. Um, so let's go to the second problem. So we, we want to isolate the base. That's our first step. So this one does have a constant. So what we're going to do is we're going to isolate this 8 to the negative 5a by adding 5 to both sides. So that's going to give me 58. Okay, so I've isolated my log. Now, instead of doing the logging both sides, I'm going to do the rewrite because this is a very basic equation and it's easier to use the rewrite method. So I'm going to rewrite this because I want to get that exponent out of my log. So I'm going to have log base 8 of 58, and I hope you're already kind of thinking, well, that value is going to be a little bit less than 2, right, because we've been estimating these, is equal to 5a, and then, or negative 5a, and then we're going to divide both sides by negative 5. So in your calculator, let's uh, bring our calculator up, and let's type all this in. So I'm going to take, oops, let me slide it over just to here. There we go. Uh, alpha window. I'm going to go down and get my change of base formula. And I'm going to type in log base 8 of 58 and get an answer. Okay, 1.9. We said it was a little less than 2. And then I'm going to divide that by negative 5. And so my answer is negative three, point uh, three nine one. So we're rounding to three decimal places. So negative three point or point three nine one. And there's my answer. And of course, you can go back and plug it in and recheck it to double check to make sure it's right. So you, you can take eight to the exponent and negative five times uh, negative 0.391 uh, and then we'll come down and we'll do minus 5 and we should be at 53 yeah there we are okay so I know I've worked that one correctly now if you prefer the longer method that logging both sides you can do that to this side but I'm gonna go ahead and use the shorter method for now but you'll see why you need that longer method later okay so let's isolate the bases. Okay, so here's one. So let, this one has an E in it instead of a base 10. So this one's a little bit different. So we wanna isolate the base and the base is E. So let's isolate that. So we're gonna bring down two to the E, uh, T E to the four X plus seven equals five. Now I still don't have my E isolated. I need to divide by two first. Let's divide by 2. So now our base is completely isolated. Okay? And that equals 5 halves. 
Now, you can log both sides at this point, or you can rewrite. Well, this is a simple one, so I'm going to use the rewrite. But rewriting this one's different because I have a base E. So I'm going to use natural log. So natural log, and we know we assume, I'm going to kind of put it here, we assume the base is E, you don't have to write that, of 5 halves is equal to 4x plus 7. And then hopefully from here you know how to isolate. So we're going to subtract 7, so we have natural log of 5 halves, and that's all we're taking the natural log of, remember, and then minus 7 equals 4x, and then divide by 4. Divide this whole answer by 4. So let's bring up our calculator. Uh, where is it? Oops, wrong, sorry. I don't mean to open my smart file here. Sorry. Let's open a calculator. And let's type this in. So we have ln of 5 divided by 2. And then close that bracket. And then minus 7. Okay, I'm going to get that answer. And then I'm going to divide by 4. So you've got to get the, the, sum, the difference of the whole top, the numerator. So my final answer is what? 1.521. Okay, so negative 1. 0.52 and it rounds up to 1 because we want three decimal places and there we go and that's how you would solve that one okay um, let's try one more of these this one has a fraction so let's isolate the log so 3 to the x plus 7 is equal to uh, 7 fourths minus 1 well, we're going to subtract 4 fourths for 1. This one's got a fraction, so we'll just have to work a little harder. So 3 to the x plus 7 equals uh, 3 fourths. Now, we can't get like bases, so we're going to have to use um, our method. And for this one, I'm going to do the rewrite method. So log base 3 of 3 fourths equals x plus 7. Hopefully you're thinking, well, the log base 3 of 3 fourths is a pretty small number because that's not even 1. Okay, and then we're going to take the log base 3 of 3 fourths minus 7 equals x. So let's bring up our calculator and let's do second windows, or alpha, I should say, alpha windows get my change of base form and log base 3 of 3 fourths well for 3 fourths instead of 3 fourths I'm gonna put right 0.75 because I know the decimal okay and then I'm gonna subtract 7 um, and that should work although I got an extra parentheses there let's see if I can delete that little parentheses uh, let's see let's delete this get it down so it looks like it should there we go I want that on the outside okay minus 7 there we go okay so it's negative 7.262 so it's negative 7.262 and there's my answer okay and that's how you would um, 